Hello friends, in this video I will be showing you practically how we can create a global script variables in design studio application and how that can be uh, utilized to change the navigation behavior of the applications in uh, design studio. So this is one, uh, one of the applications which I have already created. Uh, so uh, I have added one button here. So what I wanted to do is uh, we'll be passing a global variable from the URL when we run the application. So to create a global script variable, uh, go to the application properties. First, in the application properties, you you will see there is an option means scripting. In that script, global script variables is an option. You can just click on that to add a new global script variable means you can just click on insert uh, let's give some name suppose x mode i am just giving we can give the type whatever the type we have the different different types which we want we can give uh, boolean integer float image date field list box like that only okay so default value uh, i am not giving anything url parameter whether this this is a u variable which if you want to pass it, uh, pass it as a URL uh, then we can set it as true otherwise we can set it as a so of false okay, click on ok so now what we wanted to do means whenever the value is getting uh, passed that global variable then I want to enable the sorting for this cross tabs this cross tabs both of the cross tabs whatever here and also I want to uh, make this uh, invisible this button ok so for that what I uh, we can do it is go to the application um, properties on the startup events uh, properties here you can give a condition like that uh, if you say that x x mode is one of the our global variable so if it is a display means this is the value which is getting passed from the va variable uh, url uh, so if it is display then i want to uh, disable that uh, button so i will be writing like button one dot set visible false and for cross tab whatever the, there are two cross tabs so for for them i wanted to enable the so sorting so set sorting enable to cross tab to dot okay so whenever the value is x mode is display then it is this sorting will be enabled and the button will be visible otherwise if this is not true means this value is not display then we wanted to make it as button as true sorting we if you want to dis make it as false So when I run this, see this button is enabled, sorting is not enabled means if you see both of them. So how we can do this means we will be passing a parameter. So to the application prop URL means how we can pass the parameter like we, we need to give the ampersand variable and x mode is equal to display so this is the one i'm while passing i'm just hitting enter so whenever it is an uh, x mode value is uh, display the button is uh, got hidden or it's not enabled uh, the sorting is enabled if you see this is the the one icon which is got enabled here if i click on this i can sort it ascending or descending for the this uh, this also this has been enabled if you click on this it will sort by ascending or descending okay 
and if 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 this value is different uh, other than um, display like suppose this is a test and if i am entering so it, the button should be enabled the sorting it will not enable it is it is false for both of them so why this is needed means we can pass a global variable as a parameter uh, because there is some um, means there may be some requirement where some of the users having some access and they wanted to see some of the data based on their uh, access rights and some of them uh, don't need to do access the data which which they uh, they are not uh, permitted so at that time we can use this global variable and we can pass the values from the url so uh, we can embed this url in an other applications and we can pass it from there uh, to uh, this applications so this way it can be useful means this is the use of this uh, global variables and uh, this global variable is available in entire application means if you go to this any of the uh, components like this is uh, suppose this is a button and on on click of this button if you want to make uh, if you want to use this uh, global variable then you can uh, use it if you see this is the x mode which is a Uh, global variable which is available in the script and this we can use it for any other purposes so this is all about the global variables um, we can use and how we can we can switch the navigation of the applications i hope um, you have understood this concept if you have any questions then please put it in the comment section i will be happy to answer it if you like it, like my uh, videos then please like it and sub subscribe to my uh, channel so that you will get to know about my next uh, unit video thank you for watching